Good evening, Interworld. Sergeant Slack here from Banana Bomb Productions, welcoming you back to my hardcore Minecraft playthrough. Uh, this is an all-new look for episode 20, so I hope you guys enjoy. So, without further ado, in this episode... So now you two, get to doing it. Ah, mm. oh, yeah! Wow, that was fast. Remember, kids, your actions have consequences. Hello, Slime. You want to come live with me? Well, you can't. The, what? Oh, there he is. He's over there. What a bugger. So, Spelunking isn't as useful as it once was, in that sense. Now, you're much better off mining, because all the coal and stuff that you'll find on your way gives you XP now. Way! Don't let's not be having that. Sucks and slacks. Hard, hard, hard. Playthrough. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to reorganize my bars because I now have a new way of dealing with things because I have... I haven't got a shovel. Because I'm using my razor naga so I can quickly flick between things as I want to have them happen. And I could do with a stack of filth. Half a stack of filth will do nicely. So there we go. I can quickly go, oh no, there's lava, and then switch between things in order to get stuff away. So what I want to do in this episode is actually go back up to the surface. Have I walled myself completely in? Oh no, I've got an entranceway here. That's no good. Have to change that. I don't want to be constantly running backwards and forwards. Uh, of course, the big news is that patch 1.3 is here. Overall, I'm not terribly happy with what's going on in patch 1.3. Uh, certain things that have been added, the whole open to land thing, running on a server in single player, it's kind of good. But basically, one of the problems is is that I'm getting a lot of block lag. I don't know whether it's just my setup, whether it's 64-bit Java. I haven't done any testing in regards to that yet. But I'm not. Hey, come out of the hole. Come on, Huck 2. Or are you just Huck on? Whatever. Good. You could stay there. Oh, which means I can put wood in there, which you're probably sat on now, aren't you? Oh, freaking R as well. Oh, excuse me. That's a phone message. I might be able to cut that out. <laughs> so, uh, what I want to do is one of the things with patch 1.3 now is you get so much more XP from mining. I'm going to have a guy sleep so I don't die. I'm actually a little scared of playing hardcore mode. I haven't done it since uh, the changes came in and Creeper's got a lot more epic. So, a little worried that I might get blown to bits. Yeah, you go, you go, stay there. Good. A little worried that I might get blown to bits by a creeper, but whatever. We'll give it a go. We'll see how it works out. Uh, what I want to do this episode is sort out my enchanting room because that, not suitable. So as I was saying, a lot more nowadays, your uh, XP, XP comes from mining. So... I need to get that sorted out. I'm the, the, the increased blockage as well for farming. I mean, watch this. <laughs> That's like one click. Tiny tap of the mouse. It's so hard to get those things out. Uh, uh, as we're saying, a lot more of your XP comes from mining nowadays. So I'm going to build an enchanting room downstairs. I think by the time you've gone through a couple of iron picks uh, with all the stuff and the XP from smelting as well, you're actually looking at being at your full 30 and ready to enchant something. So it's good to have your setup. I'm just going to turn that down. That's so annoyingly loud. Your um, yeah, you can get enough. You can get a full set of 30 XP from basically just mining and smelting all the stuff that you mine, which is kind of good. I don't know. I'm in two minds about it because it's a shame. Because it was good when it was hard, and the community responded, and we built things like XP spawners, and we worked out how the game worked in order to exploit the mechanics so we could build XP spawners. And now, well, you don't need to do that now. Ah, that's what I need. Plenty of you guys. See? It's so fast, you can't even play the blinking <clears throat> sounds quick enough. So, where are we up to? I know I've got a farm over here somewhere. Oh, really? Is that it? You guys could do with a bit more room, couldn't you? 
I haven't got a shovel on. Oh, I know. I thought I should have had more seeds. You stay there. You come here. No, you go there. Ah, oh, that's why they're sitting over there. It's because I haven't got a shovel yet. Need shovel. Plenty of wheat, though. So we can get into, because of course, oh, that's what I'm missing. That's the one thing we need to do. We need to sort out our beef farm so we can make this spawner. Because now, of course, you need leather for books, which makes the whole enchanting table harder. I mean, it's good that they've tried to balance it. They've made making books harder off the basis that you now need, you know. Uh, why have I not got any sticks? I've got an axe on me. Where's the nearest tree? Oh, miles away. I have to chop you down the birch. <clears throat> I need your sticks. Oh, I need a freaking axe as well. I mean, chopping trees down now is much better with like the seven block reach instead of four, whatever it is. That's kind of handy. It's good that they've tried to balance the game a little bit and they've put in that, you know, you need to do. Um, sorry. <laughs> Brain. Brain no work. Boom. Yeah, it's good that you need to do extra things now to really work stuff up. But I don't know. The community responded and built a lot of cool things. And yeah, I don't know. You don't need to make cool things anymore. Which is good for your casual player, someone who has no clue about how to make an XP spawner. But I don't know, XP spawner is still useful. You know, they're still going to get you there quicker than mining. But in your average day-to-day -day playing in the game, eh, it's not as cool. You know? <clears throat> so, I'm going to need a lot of cows. So I'm going to attempt to separate off this way my cows. And then I can get on with breeding the hell out of them. So, I'm going to get the cows in here and leave the pigs in there, or vice versa. Don't really care, so long as it works. Right, okay then, pigs, do you come in here? Yeah, come on piggies. No, 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 not you, cow, not you. <clears throat> you go back in there. You, piggy, go through the hole. Go through, ooh, what's through the hole? Yeah, go in through the hole. Boom. Best way to get you to move, to hit you all once, and then as you go nuts, I can hopefully just tempt this cow back. Go back this way. You cow, go that way. You pig, you can come in here. Oh, that's close enough. I couldn't actually breathe. No, no. Come on. Quick. Oof. Close enough for jazz. Jazz. Good. That's you done. Oh, no. What's going on here? Ah. Come. Come to the watery goodness that I accidentally put down because I mashed my mouse. Good. So now you two get to doing it. Ah uh, yeah! Wow, that was fast. Remember, kids, your actions have consequences. I may as well breed a few of you up as well. See, that's another thing. <clears throat> Animals falling through the floor randomly. I think we've got a little bit more work on the coding to do. So, I need to extend you out a bit. Dig out the bottom first, because... Oh. That way, I can't jump up on those. It's good that I'm not hitting bedrock, so I don't have to dig down again. So this is just going to be a temporary farm. I'm going to get a better one on the go. There's a lot of nice automated ones out there with lava blades and kill switches. Which is pretty damn good if you don't need the XP, if you just want the food. But for the meantime, I'm going to continue just murdering them by hand. Have I got full bags? No. Uh, the extra block length, of course, in 1.3 is much easier to just kind of wail on stuff from further away. Like before, I'd have to be over here a bit more. 
So, yeah, there's some nice bits in 1.3. There's a couple of things that it's going to take a little time to see how it plays out with the community at large until we see just how good it is. Okay, so as I'm not going to be able to use them, oh, I will have... I have got some, but screw it. Let's replant some because we're going to need a load of these. Because I'll probably have an enchanting room upstairs as well at some point. Let's get that down and on the go. So we're now going to move shop, head back downstairs. Ooh, pick up sticks. See what's going on. Right, Hug 2? Yeah. See what's going on down there. Good, goodly, goodlingtons. Oh, is that really all the stuff I've got? I have some rotten flesh. Rotten flesh, of course, is useful for when you've got dogs. You can feed it to your dogs because they don't get poisoned, suffer the damage. Yeah, it's nice for that kind of stuff. You and I, and seeds in there also. Pick that up. Any leather? No leather. No leather. So, gonna go back down, gonna head out to our base. Ooh, there's an Enderman somewhere. Oh, I still need to sort this debacle out. I'm kind of tempted just to wall it up with glass and put lava in it. So I've got something pretty to look at. Mm, don't need that much filth on me. I may do with that. That. Uh, of course, as well now, it's a lot better to store things as actual ore. Oh, we're working that way around, are we? Well, I can't wait for the frames to come out as well. When you get frames with stuff in, that's going to be pretty awesome. I need to make this entrance way to my underground base a little better. But I think I might hold off on that for the time being in case we get something nice on the go upstairs. Ooh, a bit of steak. Nah, almost a steak. Have the bread. Bread the bread. And then I can sprint. Oh, what is this? What is this? Right. So it dawns on me that I could do with a way. Ooh, slime. Slime. Oh, it's freaking right up there as well. Right. Dig a little hole in here just to get me out. And gonna go. Ah, I don't need to go far. The slime is right there. There's a skelly that I can't see because everything's on fire. Come over here, have a murder. Get out of it, cheeky bugger. Leave that alone. <clears throat> Make my way back over here. Hello, Slime. You want to come live with me? Well, you can't. The, what? Oh, there he is. He's over there. What a bugger. Ow. Stop it. Just light things up a bit. Hopefully stop some stuff from spawning. How far away does this go? It's going to go right back up to my house at this rate. It's quite sunny. I'm having a little difficulty seeing things as they pop up. Ah, oh, there we go. We've got one cave explored. Take minerals on the way back. I find that's a better way to do it than trying to... At least I know... <coughs> well, at least I should know that behind me is fairly safe. Yes. I have a bit of a mine. Of course, Spelunking has changed now. Spelunking being the art of exploring caves. And, <clears throat> yeah, because before, this used to be surefire way. Best way to get stuff with the least amount of effort. But now, of course, with the extra XP from mining, especially in a young game, when you just started off. So a world like this is still fairly young because there's not that much that I've got sorted out yet. I'm not sort of established. I don't have lots of stuff. I can't start building my cathedral yet. 
But, um... Yeah, so Spelunking isn't as useful as it once was, in that sense. Now, you're much better off mining, because all the coal and stuff that you'll find on your way gives you XP now. Way Don't... Let's not be having that. Oh, that's savage. Pfft, leave that there. Warning. Fire. That was a close one. Could have been all over. The start of episode 20. So I'm now controlling like a bad boy. No, too dangerous. Leave that for now. When everything's a bit more explored down here, might be a better time to do that. We'll have a snazzy bit of a dirt door for now. Cool. So a couple of things there. Can I get this pee from glass? Yeah, I do. Oh, but, um, pff, don't need that. One slime ball. Well, I suppose it was only one slime. But still, one slime ball. Iron on the go. Storage chest. Put iron in. Pressure plates. Enchantment thing. Good, so that was useful. So I can dig out a bit over here. I'm going to eat up first in case I encounter any random zombies and such. Dig out over here with the new gravel texture. Which we don't know. I'm not that fond of. I like the old gravel texture. Might have to get a uh, retro texture back that takes me back to like 1.0. So over here seems to be quite a good place for an enchanting room. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Next. <laughs> Shovels do so much work. They break so easily. Oh, now the thing is with the lava though... Oh, I'm actually going to have to put glass in over there. Did I bring glass with me? I did! Look at that! With the lava, though, it's going to pop through and burn my room down. Might have to have a bit of a space. Is this lava under here, then? No. That's different. Now, uh, if I build it over one, then do, 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 do. That's going to be my central. So, uh, do, 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 do. Two more over. So, this can be the base. I can put a groovy door in if I need to at some point. Ooh, gold. Always useful. Got to watch out. There might be lava under some of this. Um, uh, here, enchanting room here? No. No. Don't be silly, Slack. Take that off. Have some of that out. Couple of torches in. And have I got any wood? Oh, I've got wood down there. I have got wood. Yeah, let's have a wood floor then. Glass, don't need glass on me. Don't need nine door. Although I will need one upstairs. Get you on the go. And... Oh, I could do with some storage down here then. Storage needs to be away from lava. Over here. Just make a couple more chests. Just to get things going on. Boom! Look at that. Lots of space. Take it, creep saw. There you are. Take it. Take it and burn. Right. So. Uh, maybe not there, uh, but certainly from here. So I'm going to have my enchanting table there. Bookcase is here. 
still used to the old setup for uh, enchanting tables, which means oh, I want some. I want to throw 16 bits of wood on the floor. That's exactly what I wanted to do. <clears throat> I want some of the birch wood. Bosh. Now, of course, I don't need all of this anymore. But I don't know, I might work up to that. Oh, no cobble. Cobble me up. So, <clears throat> you can be things that I make. Oh, I've got stone. Nice. Cool. So this is Sergeant Slag from Banana Bomb Productions saying thanks very much for watching my uh, Hardcore Minecraft playthrough, episode 20. I hope you guys like the new format and uh, we'll tune in next time for some more. Like, comment, subscribe if you liked. I will catch you guys soon.